Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a brief video here on alcohol uh, consumption and why you need to avoid it uh, with the actual detox process. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about in this video, you really got to go back to July of 2017 if this is the first video you're watching. It's very simple on my channel. It's labeled detox process. Uh, those are the most important ones you want to watch. They'll give you all the information of what not to do, what to do. Very, very, very simple. It's kind of like going to the library and going to the bookshelf and looking up there. That's that's what the videos are for. Of course, the other videos are still very important. They'll give you a lot of information about the process and things like that. You can kind of scroll through them. So go ahead and do that uh, when you get a chance so you can be more familiar with what's going on. So you might be wondering why I'm showing you this picture with alcohol and fire. Number one, alcohol is a stimulant. Okay. Number two, it's a drug. And number three, it's definitely, definitely going to hinder this process. I know it's socially acceptable, but unfortunately alcohol is a poison. It's plain and simple. You drink too much, you get sick. Um, or you can die if you really, really drink too much at once. And if it wasn't a poison, that wouldn't happen. Very simple. It also is very acidic. So that's the other point I want to make. And that is just the minor part of why alcohol is bad for you. And especially during the detox process. And here's alcoholism. And you might be wondering, James, I only drink a few times a week. That's not alcoholism. No, it's really not. But over time, it's causing damage to your liver along with your current sad diet, standard American diet, or diet full of you know, beef, grains, chicken, fish, whatever it is, and that's all you eat. Um, you're leaving an acid hit each time, and this is just making it worse, okay? So, can you get heart disease from alcohol? Absolutely. Can you get pancreatitis? Yes. Can you get um, all these other issues, cirrhosis? Absolutely. So, why would you think that this wouldn't hinder the detox process? You can't run a race if you only have one leg, right? You're not going to get very far. Alcohol is going to give you that one leg. Same with other stimulants. If it's a drug, stimulant, avoid it. Very, very simple. If your goal is to heal or get high, which one do you think is going gonna, is gonna to help you? When you're, which process you're doing? If, if you want to heal, you got to stick down that road. If you want to get high, you, obviously you have to you stay down that road, you're not going to heal. It's, it's, you can't do both. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Now, once you heal, you can do things in moderation if that's what you choose to, but at least then you've, you've won the race and you can kind of stay in the ballgame. Alright, so hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and show you a little bit more here. Uh, beer has about a 4 pH. Wine is a little less than that. Uh, the things that you're going to eat are going to be much higher than a 7 pH, especially watermelon. So you, this is why you want to avoid, uh, you know, one of the reasons I mentioned why you want to avoid alcohol. And the other important reasons are that uh, alcohol... Basically, just want to show everyone the reality is alcohol is an addictive substance with terrible side effects. I just kind of showed you that. And it can cause more harm than other drugs like crack or heroin. So there you go. Highly addictive, causes problems, it's not going to help in the process. So avoid it. Watch my other videos if you want to learn more about the detox process and other things. Um, I wish all, you, all of you the best and keep moving forward. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.